It's honestly been a while since BMW has made a car that made me want to get up and drive for no other reason than to just get up and drive. Even some M cars have lost that sense of passion, that sense of enthusiasm. But I think it's starting to come back. There's a new BMW Z4 and all it makes me want to do is drive. And who would have thought it would take help from Toyota to get it made? As you might already know, the new BMW Z4 shares its chassis, engine, transmission, differential, most of its suspension, and even its interior tech with the new Toyota Supra. Now both BMW and Toyota claim that their cars are tuned differently, that the Z4 and Supra should feel quite different on the road despite being really similar underneath the skin. The Z4 is said to be the softer, easier one to drive. And if that's the case, then the Supra is probably pretty crazy because this is a really, really fun car to drive. Most of that fun comes from its engine. The three liter turbocharged straight six makes 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Now I've driven this B58 engine in several different configurations over the years, but I honestly think that this is its shining moment. Because the Z4 is so small and relatively light, with this engine and that much power, it's a rocket ship. And it just sounds fantastic. In fact, I think this sounds better than almost every M car on sale right now. In fact, this might be the best sounding BMW on sale right now. It's just so meaty and growly and it has such an angry personality. I just love the way this car sounds. And with the top down, it's all right behind your head. That exhaust noise is right in the back of your head and it just sounds great. And it gives the car so much theater, so much drama. It's just so exciting. But the best part about the engine, honestly, to me, is just the mid-range punch. It doesn't matter what RPM you're in, in any gear, you put your foot down and it just surges forward, it just punches you forward. And it makes the Z4 so exciting because at any moment, just a twitch of your right foot and you're gone. There's some talk that the Z4 S Drive 30i, which is the four cylinder model, is actually a bit more fun because it's lighter over the nose and if you maybe fit it with some less grippy tires, you know, maybe it's a little more tail happy. Like a Bavarian Toyota GT86 sort of thing. But that's hogwash. This is the one you want. You want the big engine. You want all the noise. But the thing that impresses me most about this new Z4 isn't how fast it is or how loud it is. Instead, it's how good it is to actually drive. Can we just take a moment and appreciate the fact that BMW has a sporty little roadster that's actually really, really fun? Again, it's back. The BMW Roadster is back. It's obviously not the best sports car on the road and it's probably not the best roadster either. That's probably the Porsche Boxster, but it's really good. It's really fun. I mean, the car is not perfect, of course. You know, its steering is still too numb. I mean, I try not to complain about that too much anymore because basically every car steering is numb, but this is still really, really numb. However, it's very accurate. The front end bites really, really hard. And it's very sharp. The weighting is nice in comfort mode and sport and sport plus mode, it's just too artificially heavy. But in comfort mode, I think the weighting is just right for this sort of car. You know, you get no feedback, but it's, you know, it's very tactile, it's very accurate. You can aim the car exactly where you want really easily. I mean, it's, it's, it steers really nicely. 
and the chassis feels balanced. It feels like you can play with it. You know, the, the back end is, I don't want to say loose, but it, it will get tail happy on you relatively easily, but it's easy to control. So once you get into a slide, it's easy to catch. And it has that great, great Roadster feel where you have a long nose and it feels like you're sitting right over the rear axle. And the ride is really good. I live in New Jersey, our roads suck. But the ride in this is surprisingly supple, but it's still composed. It doesn't feel soft or sloppy. You know, it, it absorbs bumps really well. This has adaptive dampers and in comfort mode. It's really nice actually, it's really quite supple. One interesting thing to note is that this actually feels like it rides better than the BMW M340i. It's both more comfortable and more composed. There's less vertical motion over bumps than in the M340i. It's just, it just seems like the more sorted car. During my entire time with this, and I've spent like two weeks in this now, I've basically exclusively driven it with the top down. And I have noticed not a single squeak or rattle. In fact, I think this is more solid than the M850i convertible. And that costs double what this does. And yet, this doesn't feel like it costs half of the M850i convertible. I really like this interior a lot. I mean, yeah, most of it's pretty standard BMW these days, but things like the door panels and this center console here, those are unique to the Z4. And I really like them. I actually think the door panels, the, these nice door pulls, everything just looks really nice and feels high quality and the cabin just feels special. I love these seats, they're fantastic seats. And even with the top down at speed, highway speeds, very fast highway speeds, it's relatively quiet in here. You can have a conversation with your passenger even with the top down. It's a really, really well made car. Everything feels solid, everything seems really well built and put together, the materials are fantastic. So when you do slow it down, when you do just relax and cruise, it's great. It's comfortable. It's relatively spacious for a little roadster. The interior is fantastic. I don't know what more you could ask for. Thanks to its sledgehammer performance, tail happy dynamics and killer soundtrack, the BMW Z4 M40i has an almost muscle car like quality to it that's incredibly endearing. Combine that with its funky looks, great cabin, and comfortable ride, and the Z4 is a really enjoyable little roadster. It's not perfect, but it's fun, and that's what matters most.